Have Toronto homes become more affordable? We'll drill through some numbers and find out the answer to this question. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Fadi and I'm a real estate agent in the greater Toronto area. And on top of this, I make this great educational content for you to enjoy. So let's jump right into things. And I'd like to compare where we're at today versus the peak of the market back in February. So the September data is out and the average price for all home types in Toronto and the GTA areas is sitting at approximately about 1,087,000. And back in February, we were approximately at 1,335,000. So that's an 18.6 drop. Sounds like a great deal, doesn't it? However, affordability is not just about home prices, but it's really about your monthly mortgage payment. Back in February, the prime rate was sitting at 2.45% and today it's at 5.45. And I'll use variable rate for my example. So let's say back in February, you got 1.5% variable rate. Today you'll be getting about 4.5%. And uh, I actually believe it's gonna be more than that because um, uh, back in February, um, I think banks were offering a larger discount than today. So we could be looking at like 5% variable rate today, but regardless, let's go ahead and use 4.5%. So at an average purchase price of approximately a million and 335,000 at one and a half percent and 20% down with 30 years amortization, we'd be looking at about a monthly payment of $3,682 versus Today, we would be looking at a monthly payment of approximately $4,384. So that's actually 19% more expensive than back in February. And even if we work out the numbers uh, on a cheaper condo, that's a whopping 34% more expensive than back in February. And you would naturally think that condos uh, are actually more affordable. However, it, that's not the case at all. And uh, I'll leave a link up there uh, in case you were wondering how down payments are calculated in Canada and how much minimum down payments you would need uh, for your purchase. So no matter how you cut it, things are less affordable right now and you'd be paying more for your mortgage payment. However, I do have some positive news for you. But first, if you're enjoying this content so far, please take a moment, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and hit that notification bell. This way you stay updated with all my future content. And while you're at it, do share it so other people like you can also benefit. Now onto the positive news. And this is strictly my opinion and my market prediction. It is not financial advice. I do think it's always better to buy at cheaper prices and higher interest rates than more expensive prices and lower interest rates because interest rates will not keep going up forever. Eventually they will reverse and go back down. Also home prices will not keep going down forever. Eventually they will reverse and go back up. And on the long run, you will reap the benefits of the appreciation. And if you actually take a look at the month over month numbers, prices kept going down from February to July but actually remained flat for August and September. Also, if you have a really high down payment, like 50% or more, you can take advantage of the cheaper prices today because you wouldn't be caring too much about interest rates as essentially you're buying the property as if you're buying it for cash. The last thing is if you decide to purchase now, you will get that same property for a price that's a lot less than what you would have paid back in February meaning that your mortgage balance will also be a lot less and eventually when prices go back up you will enjoy the appreciation if you're thinking of buying give me a call today and let me walk you through some data and numbers you'll find all my contact information in the description below i would love to help you out with all your real estate needs and also don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below do you think affordability will improve in the near future or not if you've enjoyed this video please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell because this really helps me to continue to provide more content like this for you. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.